Okay, so what are you expecting to accomplish tonight? Well, we're having a town hall meeting with our representative, uh, Congressman Allen Boyd, who has been invited uh, at least three times. He was invited, invited again today at noon. Uh, he once again said that he wasn't coming, and I said to him that we expected him to be here, that we are his employers, and we want him here. He told us for us just to have a good time and dismissed us. You spoke with him personally? I spoke with him personally. Well, what are you going to do here in spite of him not? We're going to have a good town hall meeting with concerned American citizens. Uh, we're going to talk, uh, we're going to fellowship with one another, we're going to have some speakers, and we are going to begin to organize. Uh, you know, we've been left out of the organizing business because we've been busy working on our jobs and supporting the other side who doesn't want to work. But from here on in, we're going to learn how to organize, and we're going to show the organizers how to organize. And what's the ultimate message tonight? The ultimate message is that you absolutely cannot shun the people who put you in office. Uh, it is, I, don't, I believe that we have the right as citizens and constituents to demand that our representatives come before us. If they indeed work for us, and we've got topsy-turvy in this world, if they indeed work for us, then they must answer to us. We gave Congressman Boyd everything that he asked for in the town hall. We gave him a large venue. Outside is as big as it gets. And we also gave him a venue that he could, any question could be asked. He refuses to come before the people. Well, are you excited about the crowd that's already here? I'm overwhelmed and humbled by the crowd here. We expect the full of Republicans, Democrats, Independents, everybody we want to come together so we can meet one another and rally around the common cause of saving this greatest nation that God has ever put on the face of this earth. Thank you very much. Well, we're going to learn, folks. When I went to the doctor the other day, he, he had just come in that night. Sally, mate, Sally, mate. Make sure now. I said you also canceled the meeting because you were concerned that people couldn't ask you any questions. We gave him a venue where everybody could ask him a question. I said, Congressman Boyd, we want you there. You, sir, work for us. He turned to me and said, well, y'all have fun. Ha! handing out sheets of paper. If you haven't gotten one yet, uh, we'll get some to you. We've handed out the health bill, the 1,000 page health bill. All you have to do is read one page. We're going to have the thing read by 7.30. If you don't have a copy of this yet, I am number 420, so I know at least 420 people have been here so far. David Spencer is going to give everybody one of these. So I'll be able to tell you all about kidney transplant recipients. By the way, every time we meet, do you notice the crowd gets bigger and bigger and bigger? Before we go any further, would you please join us with Mr. Bob Thompson, who is the military affairs liaison for Bay Patriots, will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand. Bob, we've got this flag, we've got the larger flag there, whichever way you want. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all. want to join in that it is a free country, we're going to say a quick prayer to open up this evening. Oh, by the way, we're on a school campus. Good. They can't Good. take us all to the Bay County Jail tonight. So if you would please move your hats and bow your heads. Father God, we thank you so much for shining down on this wonderful nation. Lord, we thank you that you've blessed us, the American citizens, with the greatest country that you've ever set foot on, the, on this entire globe. We would ask it in the coming days and the months that you would give us direction, 
We pray for all of our elected officials and those that are in authority over us that they would become godly men and women seeking godly counsel. Yes. And for these things, we thank you so much. In Jesus' precious name, amen. 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 We probably just... Sit up, boy, sit up. <laughs> Hold your head up. We probably just broke about a half a dozen laws but I don't give a rat's patootie. I just have one other thing. During the meeting today with Alan Boyd, everyone in the meeting really ragged the congressman out pretty bad, and he had it coming. He told the crowd that he was really tired of people running down the government. That this, that this country was great because in the, in all the good work that the government did. Yeah, we got the government, doing a good the job federal government of the United States of America has never shed one drop of blood on a beach at Normandy. Amen. The federal government of the United States has never sat three decks below the waterline in a merchant marine ship on a moonlit night in the North Atlantic wondering if it was the last night that he was going to be there. The federal government of this nation has never stomped through a rice paddy in Southeast Asia to take a hill that they took a week before that the politicians said they had to turn back. So I don't want to hear it from a congressman to saying that government is the reason that this nation is great. Right here is the government of America. We the people. We don't have a, uh, I told you that we don't have a program really this evening. We're going to take it as it comes. But I would like to open the floor for my erstwhile friend, Congressman Boyd. If you have a question, feel free.